Hello guys, uh, recently I've painted my front door. You can watch the video of uh, painting the front door on my YouTube channel. Uh, basically, um, it came very nice and uh, it looks nice. And when I was uh, reinstalling the hardware, I found that one of the hardware which was meant for the storm door, it got rusted. Uh, originally, it was a gold plated uh, uh, color. As you see over here, I removed the entire hardware and uh, it has a rust it has a old paint and everything is uh, uh, not it's not looking good basically so it has only few of the a few of the items but uh, they looks uh, really bad if i install them as it is uh, if i have to buy this uh, handle and the assembly for the storm door it cost uh, 55 dollars so i decided to give a try and restore this to the original uh, state using this uh, rustoleum metallica uh, bright reflective finish and this one is gold one so basically it just uh, you have to uh, spray on the hardware and uh, let it dry and then once dry uh, you can just restore so but uh, the thing is like uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to restore it very nicely so for that first i'm going to clean this entire hardware using the uh, sandpaper uh, which is uh, this sandpaper uh, 400 grade sandpaper and then um, i'm going to use this steel wool to remove any loose material or loose polish from this uh, hardware once this is done i'm going to wash this entire hardware and then once again sand it using the 2000 grade uh, sandpaper which is for the uh, polish once everything is done then we are going to uh, uh, paint this not rather paint uh, we are going to spray this entire hardware using this uh, metallica uh, rustoleum uh, sprayer so first step first basically just clean this one as you see that uh, i've uh, already cleaned this one but still there is a rust is there old paint is there and all those things so i'm going to start um, using the um, heavy sandpaper first to remove whatever it is there so as you see it's coming out and this is going to take a while so i'm going to use this sandpaper to make sure that everything comes out from this existing hardware then i'm going to use this um, uh, steel wool uh, to again polish it and then finally with the 2000 grit paper so let me first finish the sanding of this entire uh, all this hardware using this uh, sandpaper uh, which is uh, 400 grit and then uh, i will show you how exactly it looks and then we'll go for the next step So rough sanding is done and as you see that already uh, it started looking nice compared to what it was earlier. I am going to now uh, sand this using the 2000 grit paper uh, that is this one. This is uh, 2000 grit paper and it is meant only for uh, basically the fine sanding. So I am going to sand this one and, and that will be and after sanding this one we can just uh, uh, spray paint this with the golden color 
now for all this type of project the important thing is basically uh, the preparation now the way we are sending this hardware i'm going to send the hardware uh, existing hardware on the door that is this part which i have already <coughs> other part of the door i've already covered using the uh, masking tape so that it won't get damaged when i'm sending this part um, either you can do this way or you can just remove this hardware and then um, uh, perform this step but i prefer to uh, do this using like this so i'm going to send and remove each um, loose material um, any any loose material from this uh, uh, door and then i'm going to even spray paint this part also so basically if you see over here this is the old paint and it's very difficult to remove the only way to remove this one is take your time and sand it and then remove that surf uh, that paint so once this is done this even this surface and the existing hardware is now ready for the uh, spray painting so let me finish this one and i will show you how it looks after the uh, fine sanding and, and uh, cleaning the surface so i have uh, sand uh, sanded this entire hardware using the fine grain <coughs> sandpaper and now i'm going to um, uh, spray this metallic paint gold metallic paint on this hardware uh, uh, to avoid the spill and to have the even spraying of all this entire hardware what i've done is i've took one uh, box which is a uh, uh, wooden box old wooden box and kept all these uh, hardware on that one so this way it's easy for me to maneuver and uh, uh, spray the entire surface without uh, spilling it on the other um, other part of the house or uh, surface so uh, just shake the cam well for a couple of uh, times and then from 10 to 12 inches just spray the coating so you can do two coats but um, initially i'm going to do one coat and then and then i'm going to um, uh, once it dries out then i'm going to do the second coat so let's see how it comes so this is first coat <coughs> This is second coat and let me see if whether I've covered all the areas on the other side also. Yep. This is and already started looking nice. So this is the first part of the coat and I will let it dry for uh, 10 minutes before uh, applying the second coat and the same thing i'm going to do it on the hardware which is over here and as you see the hardware which i have not removed from the door and as you see i've covered the other area just to prevent it from uh, getting sprayed so it's going to be a little tricky over here but i'll try okay This also looks good now and small knob actually it is not required on this one but I will try to do little bit of spray and as it's as it is drying out the gold golden color of this spray is showing up even if you look at the hardware which we've done earlier it started showing very nicely so and remember this is just the first coat i'm going to do the second coat also on this one and we'll see that how it looks on the door after the installation and now i'm going to have the second coat on this uh, hardware so same process 
um, 10 to 15 inches distance and one single stroke Let me see if I have covered all the areas or not. And I think I already covered all the areas. Just making sure. And after this dries, I am going to install it on the door. And the earlier door port, door hardware is also looking great. Some of the areas are not good, like this area. But I am going to just have the little coat over there just to make sure yep it is now good and the same thing for this door now and same thing on the other side which is the keyhole and now it is just waiting and once this dries out we are done with the final coat and this is all done uh, the hardware is installed on the storm door and it looks pretty nice few marks which i could have uh, hide by doing the third coat but that's okay and uh, I'm really happy with the way it looks now. Thanks for watching.